So guys, in this video we will start the body, definitely, or at least we will try. But first let's take this and how to put our pivot in here. So we can go to local and it doesn't happen, so <laughs> it, it doesn't happen. But the idea is that we don't need that, we, uh, we can select this and then press A and then we will move it and position it correctly. Hopefully will position it correctly. Ooh. It's kind of big, I don't know. We'll see. If it's too big, we will have an issue. But not a big issue. Okay, here. Uh -huh. ah, okay, I understand. Pretty good. Like this. And then this will be our belt, which is continuing behind the ear. So I think this positioning is kind of right for us. And I'll probably leave it like this. I will add a mirror modifier. And uh, of course, oh, this time it happened. Probably I haven't moved it in, uh, in object mode. So that's why the mirror modifier worked. I did not expect that. I'm a little bit in shock, you know. Then I will solidify. And let's increase the solidify a little bit. Yes, all the things here, we want them to be thick. We don't want anything to be like thin and small and everything should be thick and, uh, you know, yeah. Uh, why, you will ask. Thank you for this question. Because the thick things are good for these stylized characters. And also for gaming characters, we don't want some thin elements to go around and uh, mess with us, okay? So this is, that's why. And also, uh, look what I will do now. By the way, <laughs> this is, sometimes these are the last words of some people. Like, look what I can do and uh, it's over. And now, but this time not. So, subdivision surface will go to like 3. And you see, it's uh, obviously not very good, but we go to the solidify modifier edge data and I will increase the crease inner. I will increase the outer. I'll, I'll increase the rim. And they are a little bit too much. I, I told you that I want everything to be as little bit softer. So 0.4 something is fine, maybe four, and it looks kind of good. I like it. So this bolt here we'll add later. For now, I want this to make to be more interesting. So we will start the body. So the body, how to start it? Of course, we go to object mode. Then we add a sphere. Then we go to edit mode with tab, put it down, increase the size of it by S, make it big, make it even bigger, maybe scale it upward and make it like this. And maybe pull it a little bit more back. So I'm trying not to move this sphere uh, left or right. I'm trying to move it only back and up and down. And back and forth, of course. So now I will go control tab uh, down to scope mode. I will turn on my symmetry. And let me see my, uh, yeah, the focal length 85 is, ni is nice. So now I will start doing this. So now this is about anatomy a little bit. But in this case... There is not too much anatomy in this character since he's uh, hmm. he has a lot of fat, basically, which is okay. But the idea here is that we will do muscles, yes, but we will do a big belly too. So now you see I'm working with very low poly polygonal things here. I'm using very mm, less polygons. <laughs> very less yeah nice uh and you will notice that uh, his arms are kind of normal length but they go until his crown uh, crouch crouch crotch here when he's pulling them down and then the legs super small super tiny so we will do that probably and we will uh, most likely I will control R. By the way, this resolution is a little bit bigger even for me, but it's all right for now. So shoulders, we'll do the 
the hands or the arms. The hands I'm not sure we will do in this video because it will be uh, yeah, difficult to do them that that fast. But we will do the arms and the legs basics. And then we probably will have to put the concept, not this one, but this one, to put it inside the inside Blender and just arrange our model according to the concept. So here you see how it goes, it's fine. Um, I'm also looking at this concept and I am going to use my artistic feeling about how to do it. Okay, artistic feeling is um, since I am an artist for a long time, more than 40 years probably. <laughs> No, of course not. I'm 40 years old, so uh, I'm an artist for a little bit less than 40 years. But my artistic feeling is not always right, of course. And especially I believe in the artistic feeling of other people who are more experienced than me. And also, when I'm doing something, for example, I'm doing this guy. And at some point, I kind of don't like it. Yeah, most of the time this happens. I don't like it that much. And I say, okay. Uh, I go to our lead artist, Evelyn Trifonov, and I ask him, what do you think about this, this, this? And he said, okay, this is not uh, perfect, this is not good enough, you can do better here and here. And yeah, I, I told you, teamwork is essential in this sphere where we're working. Teamwork is absolutely necessary and absolutely nice. Also, the feeling of not being alone not being alone doing something, a feeling of having a team behind you is amazing. I mean, I don't know. Um, I know some freelance authors, freelancers, and they're doing good uh, money-wise, but mm, they're a little bit depressed because this feeling of teamwork is uh, not that much uh, there. I mean, I think that's the case about depression. You, we are social animals, we need the social life, and especially in these COVID times, which are kind of passing, and now war times, so, yeah, I think we'll remember COVID for, uh, with some kind of a melancholy or something, because war times are a little bit worse, I think, but let's not talk about politics, of course, uh, we are gathered here not to talk about those things. We are gathered here to talk about character modeling. So now I'm using my knowledge of anatomy, of course, a little bit. Uh, I shouldn't do it too much anatomical since he has a lot of fat over his muscles and uh, everything. So I have to be careful with that, with the anatomy. But still, some anatomy is required always. So his ribcage will be here. I don't know about the belly, how big it should be. But probably this big could be nice. Of course, well, I told you we can always reposition some things. For now, this looks fine. I can start working on his uh, arms. By the way, I will pull the, this a little bit more aside. And how to put arms? This is the... I don't like this... Uh, this part of the character thing because I have to go to object mode. I have to uh, go and add a curve. This is one of the ways. And then I will take this curve, place it here, rotate it and start positioning it accordingly. But this is the way I think it's the best of doing this. So, I do this curve. Now I'll make it thick. Geometry depth. Very thick. Because he has pretty thick arms, of course. And this will be the base of our arm. Of course, if we want to uh, refine it a little bit, we can go to subdivide. And then uh, go to subdivide here again. Uh, I always like my arms to be a little bit bent. 
so like this and here I will press V and vector so this will make it sharp and then I will take this put it here and alt s to increase the size of it alt s to increase the size of this too uh, because overall arm is the most thick in this area and it starts to get thinner although in this character it's not gonna be much thinner at the end but we'll see so now it's uh, he's not looking obviously super nice but Oh, hopefully we will be able to do it. So now I want the uh, legs. I will shift D and then I will reposition this one and this one will be our legs. Of course they don't look like legs yet but they will start looking like legs very soon. So uh, we need an what was this? Like this and then this. This is our knee and by the way, the leg itself will be almost as thick as the arm. Of course, a little bit thicker in this area. So I will Alt S, increase the thickness. Here we'll have this. This will be in, in more inside. And yeah. Basically, I think this is it. We don't need too much more things. Uh, maybe we can increase the size of his torso but, torso, but we'll see. Now, how do we make this uh, as a mesh? So, one way is to fill caps, but I don't like that. And now these are not filled. These are uh, kind of like, like uh, tubes. But, I will press tab to go to object mode. Then I will shade flat. I like to see the geometry. Set uh, convert to mesh. And then go back to edit mode. Press A to select everything and press F to fill the holes, which is great. Now we have the holes filled and we can go to uh, sculpt mode and continue with our character. Now we have to make muscles, we have to make the biceps, we have to make the triceps. Big, since this is a tank, of course. We will not save uh, muscles, we have to put muscles there. Even if he's fat, he is a strong fat guy. Like, for example, who? I'm not sure. Some of the... Uh, yeah, I think there are guys in the um, strongman competitions that are exactly like that, with big bellies, but super strong. And probably that's what we are going for here. It's not ultra aesthetic, but it seems like he's really strong, although a little bit overweight. He's eating too much, but whatever. It's not not a problem mm, okay now here we will make his legs like this and of course i'm very rough for now uh, the legs should be short but very strong since they have to support this kind of a big huge body and they cannot be uh, some small tiny legs they should be huge now i will go to symmetry symmetrize so yeah, in the sculpt mode, I most of the time I don't use mirror for the arms and legs. Uh, I don't know why. I just this I just do it this way by symmetrize. Now here we go with this with his legs. Hmm, he's not looking too bad, but you will notice that our arms now are too long. Why I'm thinking that? Because um, when we put our let me show you. When we put our mm, hands like this, and the arms will be until here, super long, and they have to be, in this case, they are around to the knee, so a little bit shorter. Either we'll make the hand itself small, or we will shorten it later, it doesn't matter that much. We can also make some uh, wings, of course, that's absolutely normal, and uh, maybe horns will be pretty nice. By the way, it doesn't look half bad in this case, so I will suggest we, we do that because it's 
it's looking nice. But most of the time my suggestions, this kind of suggestions, don't pass. I don't know why. I don't know why. They're so nice. But <laughs> people just don't listen to me sometimes. I say, this will be an amazing character with those wings and with the horns and with the, with the glasses and with the jacket and the pistol and everything. And they say, oh, oh, oh hold, hold your horses, hold your horses. What's happening? Uh, I have problems. I am uh, addicted to chocolate and stuff like that. And yeah, yeah, but uh, we are talking, we are talking. That's, that's the important thing. We are talking. By the way, I'm really addicted to sugar. I'm <laughs> eating. Let me show you. This chocolate. Advertisement. Mm, no, they don't pay me. Lint, don't pay me. But this white chocolate, it's, it's, it's exceptionally difficult for me to not eat it. Eat the whole thing uh, when I started. When I started, I usually eat it. Uh, eat the whole chocolate. Uh, and I still buy it. Yeah, I have to stop buying it, you know. I go to the store and I see the price is going up. But this is uh, white lint. I have to buy it, you know. And I buy it. And I eat it. And I don't give it to my children. Because it's a drug. Yeah. Uh, sweet. Sweets are drugs. Yeah, that's definitely... I, I'm... Pretty confident in this. And drug which is uh, more contagious than heroin. Not more contagious, more addicted, addictive. Not than heroin, than cocaine. <laughs> than heroin, no. Most likely not. If you're wondering why I'm like doing like this, because I post the video to cough. Sometimes when I talk a lot, and I always talk a lot, I cough, so I always cough, <laughs> you may notice. Okay, now, I want to extrude a little bit here, but just like this, and start making his arm, hand. I always mistake arm with hand, I don't know why, but this is the case. So, control R, and smooth, and suddenly, we have, for 17 minutes and 35 seconds, we have a pretty nice representation of our guy, a body. So, now, what I notice, our legs are pretty big, and our body is not as big. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's about to be seen. Let's see, so the arms should be pretty thick. Here I should also invest my knowledge of anatomy, or look at some arms. And since I have an arm here, this one, I can look at it and say, aha, uh -huh. so the wrist is this, this thick. But here, where the knuckles are, is much thicker, much uh, wider than the wrist, the, the width of the wrist. So those things we should consider. So the wrist of this guy is pretty thick also, because uh, he has uh, big bones, obviously, and maybe even... We will make the also the biceps thicker. But the idea here is, let me see. So this will go this way, this will go this way, and this will have down here. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, this is a mask I did in unintentionally. Now here I will represent the thumb and the other fingers I do a different way. I don't do them like like this. Although in this case, how much are they? Oh, not how much, how many? There are four. So for four, four uh, fingers, I usually, especially thick fingers, I usually do them separately. Uh, not from this form. If there were three, I could do it from this form. But for four, I'm a little bit concerned. Also, the thumb should be pretty thick. Because if you notice on your hand, if you look at your hand now, you will notice that the thumb is the biggest finger of all. The thickest, not the, not the longest probably, but the thickest. So we have to make it thick, the thumb itself. And the other fingers, they will be a little bit thinner. But of course, this could be 
fixed later. It doesn't matter right now that much. So now I'm trying to achieve the forms of the palm little by little. Yeah, it's not... Um, <laughs> some people will say, ah, pff, character artists, their job is easy. No, our job is not easy. It's one of the hardest from all 3D artists, since we have to know anatomy. If you don't know anatomy, you cannot be a character artist, obviously. Uh, if you don't know anatomy, you can be environment artist, no problem. But environment artists also have some uh, other issues, mostly technical issues. We have more mostly artistic issues. We have to be good at anatomy. We have to make a person or a creature look good from all dimensions, which of course is never an uh, easy task, but a good concept always helps. I'm just say that there. Yeah. I'm just going to say that. And this concept is good. I will not say the name of the concept artist. Hopefully he will join us at some point of uh, the making of this character. And I will be able to speak with him, although I spoke with him already. I, uh, uh, not verbally, but uh, with writings. And he agreed that he can give us some sketches and stuff. I'm not sure he will go on camera, though. Most people, especially artists, they are a little bit kind of afraid, or not afraid, but they are shy. They don't want to uh, go into camera. They're shy that they will embarrass themselves or something, which I was like that probably a little bit too. Nowadays, since I have a YouTube channel for a long time already, so I'm not that afraid of being embarrassed. I can embarrass myself without any issue. I don't care. That's, that's the good thing. So now, how to make the fingers? You will ask, okay, this guy is poking, speaking some things here, but how can he make the fingers? They are pretty difficult. And I will say, they're not difficult, but they are a little bit annoying to make. Because you have to go to object mode, then you have to add a cube, then you have to uh, move the cube, place it into position here, Scale it down to be as thick as the finger, as one finger, whatever finger. Place it. And probably a little bit bigger will be nice for us. And then we will do a magic trick, which will be to select just one uh, polygon and then control, right click, right click, right click. And this will be our finger, by the way, it's amazing. Now I will add a modifier, which will be subdivision surface modifier. I will increase it for three. Then I will go uh, press A, shift E, and just uh, crease the edges. And now I can go to, uh, to apply this, and I will go to sculpt mode. Uh, so I did this basic, Think, just the base of the finger, and I will go to scope mode and start uh, doing it. So this should be pretty thick finger, so I will increase the thickness. The bad thing is that uh, always when you do fingers, you have to leave uh, space between them. They shouldn't touch each other in the base. And also they shouldn't touch each other at all. So uh, if you do a character like this, it will be very difficult or near impossible to rig. Difficult, yeah. And also it will be difficult for you to sculpt. So we are doing it like this. And also between fingers, you see here, we have kind of a line. Uh, they're not touching. So that's what we have to do. First, I'm working only on this finger, just to put a nail on it, just to make it uh, look a little bit better. Hopefully, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> okay. Don't worry about it. And we will then continue with the other fingers. And the other fingers, of course, I will just duplicate this one and put it on the right position. So don't expect too much. It will be just duplication of this one. And since he will have gloves on both hands, one will be full glove and the other one will be half glove. 
as you can see here, we are seeing all the half one. Um, I'm not super excited about those fingers, but they will be visible in the bottom of one hand. A little bit. Alright, so I'm doing it on camera, all these things. But what I'm thinking is that uh, we will not. it will not be interesting when I'm starting to do the refining and everything. It will not be interesting for everybody to look. Also, it will be pretty difficult for me myself. And also, it will be a pretty long goddamn syrup. <laughs> it will be a pretty long series. Uh, and as my daughters say, God damn it. So this is not a curse. So if some if some damage occurs to you, you can always say God damage. It's uh, it's a good kind of a saying, God damage. Because she heard probably the right curse, but she didn't understand it quite much, so she said like this, God damage. And I think it's pretty nice. So, all right, it looks fine, although here the elbow should be thicker. For this kind of a thick character and big and stuff, uh, it's uh, shameful to make uh, some small elbow. Like, meh, small, I have small elbows. No, no, you have big elbows, my man. You are a huge guy. You don't have small elbows. You shouldn't have. I'm just marking some muscles there. Uh, this was the triceps, of course. Now, let's see. Okay, I will select this one. I will go to tab. And since it's selected, shift D and move it. And, uh, you know, I will rotate it a little bit. I will try to rotate it like this and put it here. I always like to uh, move the, the fingers. I don't like to make them like this. On one line. I always do them like this. A little bit more, you know, more interesting, they seem. For me, at least. So, now they are pretty close to each other. So, I will select this one and try to make it a little bit further from the middle one. Because, yeah, it's too close to the thumb now. I don't know what happened. But we will fix that. Probably. Or not. We'll see. Now, Shift D. Yeah. I don't like uh, characters who has normal amount of fingers. Yeah. So now I'm uh, trying to do this. So the index finger is here. The ring finger, no, uh, the middle finger is a little bit more above. And then this one is there on an arch like this. And you will see that. So I don't care about the palm yet here. I will just make sure the uh, the pinky and the brain the pinky is a little smaller than the other ones the pinky the pinky and the brain now let's select all of them and make them a little bit smaller so they can fit and uh, yeah this looks pretty nice i will of course symmetrize them uh, there is no quick favorite, so I'll go here. Symmetrize. They are in the in the other part too. So go to X, and now I can move them. But first, I will go and adjust the palm so it will fit them, and we will be over with this video. And hopefully, this video was kind of useful. Okay. Doing this, fine. Mm, probably this will not be as with so much tendons or bones because he is pretty huge character, so probably it will be thick. Everything he is thick on this guy. I will move the thumb, I will increase the size of the thumb since I told you it's. The thickest of the fingers has to be huge. It has to be obviously bigger than the other fingers. And that's what I'm trying to achieve here. Oh. 
All right. Looks relatively good. Hmm. All right. We can um, we can try to do a little bit of this fingers here. And I will try to make them work from this mesh, not separate, since they are not going to move uh, one uh, compared to the other. They will be as one. So I will try to use this mesh for that. Hopefully it will work, but it will work, I think. <laughs> okay, I will inflate. And let's see here, we can make like this. Mm, we have to make sure that they are not the same. Probably these inner ones will be the thumb toes. And the outer ones will be a little bit smaller. Because they will be the pinky. And uh, the bottom, let me press 1 on the numpad. And then here... Although we will probably have some uh, things that we'll do, but we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I will go select this with control, move it down and just cut. How does he look? He looks uh, awful, but hopefully... Uh, yeah, this is just for 31 minutes and I'm uh, trying to work fast because otherwise it will be boring. And you see, in my channel, I don't do uh, fast forwards or something. So probably at some point I will do some things behind camera uh, and I will do the most interesting things uh, for a video. I'm not sure how this will exactly turn because otherwise it could be pretty boring and we don't want that, right? We don't like boring things. We like everything to be amazing. So I'm trying just to find the forms here. I'm just uh, putting something. Working or not. Something else. Until we are fine. By the way, he always has to have an S. Probably big, big one also. I don't know this guy whether he has a tail, but I don't think he has a tail, which is interesting because he's a werewolf and all of them has tail. So either they forgot about the tail or they cut his tail off, which would be not nice for this guy. And probably that's why he's mad. His face is like... Uh, they cut my tail off. I don't know. Who knows? Nobody. Now, let's select, by the way, this and the fingers. And let's uh, control J, connect them together. Then control R. And let's see. So we don't have enough geometry. Control Z, shift R, go down, control R. Okay, now it's fine. And now I'll inflate a little bit here. And they are connected now, and they look pretty good. And we will continue with refining and everything. Let's see him from the side. Yeah, he's falling a little bit on the back. But if I move, if I move the legs, and this should be... Let's see him, by the way, from the side view. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I don't see him. Let's press home. Now he's here. Sometimes we'll lose our mesh. But uh, when we press home, he quickly comes back home. That's why we press home. Press, we want him home and he come back home. Sweet home Alabama. When the skies are so blue. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
one of my uh, employers when I was doing uh, courses for other people, she told me not to sing while I'm doing a course. And I always want to sing, you know, just a little bit, just a little singing. It's not a problem. Although, yeah, and probably most people don't want that. Although I'm not singing super bad. I'm not exactly a singer, so yeah. I'm a character artist, so I am better in character art than most people. And I'm an average singer, so probably I should do what I'm doing best. She's right. I know, she's right. Sweet home Alabama. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> okay, thicker legs. Thicker, much thicker legs. Until we connect them with the body, it will not be... Uh, I'm not certain how they work or if they work at all. But we'll see. For now, it's eh, kind of nice, but it needs more adjust adjusting. This is the preliminary forms. And for 35 minutes, I think it's fine. Most people cannot do it for this amount of time. But yeah, so see you in the next video or someplace else, who knows.